Hello, 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 fam. It's Saturday. Hey, everybody. Happy Saturday. I hope wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you're having a super fantabulous Saturday. It's been a minute since I cooked something and made a video for it. So um, I was watching Tabitha Brown this morning, and she made a vegan lasagna for her daddy who was coming in town to visit her. And um, I thought that it looked so good that I would try it at home. So I rushed out to get the ingredients and I am going to make her vegan lasagna. Um, and uh, wanted to share uh, this video and recipe with you in case you want to do it. So here's the ingredients. Um, she made hers with um, vegan sausage, but I'm going to use this vegan ground beef. I tried this before for a video that I made where I was making a hot dog in honor of my Aunt Betty. And I really like this, so I'm going to use this instead. So this is um, <clears throat> Gardein. Uh, it's called ground B E apostrophe F. So it's a vegan, vegan version of ground beef. And um, <clears throat> she used uh, uh, red peppers in hers, but I have all of these leftover peppers. So I'm gonna use uh, green, red, yellow, and orange red peppers to put in the lasagna. And then I have some chopped up mushrooms. These are just baby Bella mushrooms already chopped up. And um, then I'm gonna use uh, this Bertoli spaghetti sauce. It was buy one, get one free. So um, this was half price. <clears throat> and then um, the other ingredients are, I have not tried um, vegan cheese since I've been a vegan. Um, I just gave, away, gave up cheese altogether, but she made it with two types of cheese. So I got a vegan version of mozzarella and a vegan version of cheddar. So I'm gonna be trying this for the first time to see if I like that vegan cheese. It smells good. I mean, I just opened the packet and the, the aroma of the cheese is really good. And then um, the oven ready lasagna. Um, I've never used oven ready lasagna before either. I've always bought my lasagna, so this will be my first time doing this, but it's very convenient. And there wasn't too much of a difference in the price, so I was okay with getting that. <clears throat> so what you do is this. And then the seasonings are uh, oregano, Italian seasoning, and some garlic powder. She also used parsley in her vegan lasagna and I forgot to pick up parsley so mine is not going to have the parsley on it so the first thing that you want to do is <clears throat> chop up take your veggies and put them in I'm going to have to use my Nutribullet because my Ninja is not working today so I don't know what's going on with that so I'm just going to put what well, maybe I should maybe cut these in half so I'm going to cut my peppers in half just so they'll be a little bit smaller to put in my Nutribullet <clears throat> I'm pretty bummed out about my Ninja. My sister Levette gave me that Ninja and I use it quite often. So the fact that it's not working has kind of got me bombed out. So I'm putting my uh, peppers in here and then I'm gonna put a handful of the mushrooms in here. And then I'm just going to um, put the lid on and then kind of ground this up a little bit, okay? Just like she did. You know what, this might not work for the ninja. Might needs to have that blade. So instead of doing that, this is what I'm gonna do. Compromise. So I've got my oil heat in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mushrooms in there. And then I'm just gonna chop up these peppers by hand. So get my mushrooms in there and then take these peppers out. I've never used anything in my Nutribullet without liquid, so I'm not sure if that would tear it up or not. So I'm just gonna chop up these peppers by hand. Always have a plan B when plan A doesn't work out, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna chop these up by hand and get this stuff that's cooking. While I'm chopping these up, I'm also gonna go ahead and put some of this ground beef in there. Just cut that a little bit more open this up. I think I'm going to use about a half of this bag. So <clears throat> putting this vegan ground beef in here and letting that cook along with the mushrooms. Y'all still with me? Along with the mushrooms. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit on here so we can go ahead and sizzle down. And while that is cooking, since I don't want to take a chance with my neutral bullet, I'm just gonna chop up these peppers a little fine. And we're gonna throw that in to saute with the ground meat. And 
the mushrooms. Oh, I gotta put some onion in here too. So I gotta get an onion out of the fridge so that we can put that onion in here as well. I love multicolored peppers. So I'm pretty excited about these peppers that's gonna be in there. Okay, so now that I've got these chopped up a little bit more, I'm gonna try them in my Nutribullet just one more time. But I'm not gonna grind them up long because look, I'm already having problems with my Ninja. I don't wanna start having problems with my Nutribullet too. Okay. All right, so now we got all that chopped up. That, that was really quick. So now can y'all tell what it looks like so we're just gonna pour that in there. And then chop up some onion. So let's get some onion out the fridge. I already got some onion here. So I'm gonna chop up half, uh, half of a half of an onion and put this onion in there. And then we're gonna start stirring it up. And stir it up all together. How y'all doing today? Is everybody having a good Saturday? It is a beautiful day in Atlanta today. I've been out multiple times running errands today, just enjoying the beautiful weather. With the sunroof open, sunroof top, digging the scene with the gangster lean. All right, so let's get this onion chopped up. Fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's all going down on the floor. Okay, let's get this onion in here. All right, we got that in there. Then we're just gonna kinda stir everything up. All right, now let's get all of this stirred up. Just cook it up nicely. All right, so all we gotta really do is just kinda brown. I mean, we're gonna put it in the oven to cook. So really at this point, all we gotta do is just kinda brown the meat a little bit and merge all of these flavors together. So we're doing that. And then let's just add a little bit of garlic powder in here. Or a lot. <clears throat> That's what I would say. I love garlic too, just like she does. And then I'm going to put some oregano. Oregano. And then this is Italian seasoning. I'm going to put some Italian, this Italian seasoning here. And it's probably some oregano already in this Italian seasoning as well. Okay, then let's just go ahead and mix this baby up. It's smelling good, I can tell you that. It's cooking good. I did put just a little bit of oil in the pan because uh, vegan meat substitutes don't really have oil or grease or fat in it. So I just put a little bit of oil in the pan so that it wouldn't stick to the pan. Okay, and this is almost ready. Okay, so let's move some of this stuff out the way. Discard some of this. Put the rest of this onion back in the fridge. And then we are going to start layering our pan. I already got the oven heating or preheating at, to, at 350 degrees. And so um, let's take our lasagna and layer this lasagna. Okay, that's how it looks. It looks just like the uncooked lasagna, so let's uh, hope for the best with this, okay? So I'm just going to layer three pieces of lasagna on the bottom as such. I don't think four will fit. Let's see. Yeah, it's not enough room for four, so I'm going to put three down. And then what I'm going to do is kind of break one and put it on the side like that, okay? Can y'all see that? Now it's covering the whole bottom. Okay, then I'm gonna take some of this um, vegan meat mix, which is the vegan meat, onions and peppers, different types of peppers and all the seasonings. And then we're just gonna put a layer down on the lasagnas like this. I'm gonna use about half of the mixture and then put the other half on top. Okay, so it looks like that. Can y'all see that? And then we're gonna take uh, some cheese. So we're gonna take some mozzarella cheese and just spread on there like this. And then we're gonna take some of this um, cheddar cheese and spread on there. I probably should have put the sauce down first, but it's okay, we're gonna still put another layer on there. And then take some of the sauce 
and just pour the sauce on top like this, like that, like this and that. Okay, then I'm just gonna kind of spread the sauce out a little bit like that. All right, then we're gonna take another layer of the lasagna and put that down. One, two, three, and then one more on the side that we're gonna kind of break up a little bit like that, like we did the first one. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat that process. So now we're gonna put some more of the meat mix on top of that. Like so, like this. Okay, and that is all of the meat mixture. I'm gonna spread that out evenly so there's some on top of all of the lasagna. Okay, now this time, we're gonna put down the spaghetti sauce first instead of the cheese. Okay, so we're gonna put this sauce down. It might take like this whole can. There we go, it is. So we're gonna take that whole can. So we got the meat sauce down. Just kind of spread that out a little bit so it covers all of your meat. Not meat sauce, I meant spaghetti sauce. Okay, and then we're going to put some more cheese on top of this. And this is gonna be our top layer. Later. So we got some mozzarella cheese. I've never had vegan cheese before, so this is gonna be interesting to see if um, this turns out okay. So let's see. All right, so we got that mozzarella cheese there. Oh, by the way, um, this cheese was a lot more expensive than your regular cheese. This was $5.69 a pack. However, it was buy one and get one free. So I got both of these packs for $5.69, which makes it out to be a little bit more than $2.50 a pack. So that made it more reasonable for me to get it. Okay, so if I like the cheese, what I'm gonna do is go back and buy some more today and then just put it in the freezer so I have it for later. Because remember, we're trying to prove that it's not expensive to eat healthy. So I don't know how much healthier though <laughs> vegan cheese is than um, regular cheese. I haven't looked at that. Okay, so now this is what the final product looks like. You got your uh, vegan lasagna and we're gonna put this in the oven for about 40 minutes and then let's see what it looks like after it comes out of the oven, okay? So let's go ahead and pop this in the oven. We're gonna set the timer for 40 minutes, check on it in 40 minutes, and then we're gonna come back and see how it looks, how it tastes, and then we're gonna enjoy our vegan lasagna today on this happy Saturday. So wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I shall see you on the next video when it's ready, and I hope you have a super fantabulous Saturday. All right, see you on the next video. How about that? Mwah.